Ever wondered how control systems work? What keeps your home thermostat regulating temperatures or your car navigating turns? The answer lies in the core of these systems, controllers. Today, we're decoding the fascinating world of controllers and understanding their critical role in control systems. In a nutshell, a control system is a mechanism designed to manage, command, direct, or regulate the behavior of other devices or systems using control loops. The heart of this system, the controller, is the device or software that administers its operation. Now, controllers come in various types, each with unique functionalities and complexities. To understand this better, consider a few of the most common types. First up, the on-off controllers. Picture a light switch, the simplest example of an on-off controller. It's an either-or situation. The light is either on or off. These controllers are ideal for binary control tasks. However, they may lead to oscillations and instability in more complex systems. Next, we have the proportional controllers, or P controllers. Imagine trying to maintain a specific temperature in a room. A P controller would reduce the error between the desired temperature and the actual temperature. While they're great at minimizing steady state error, they can struggle with offset and oscillations in dynamic systems. Third in line are integral controllers or I controllers. These controllers are like meticulous accountants, keeping a running total of past errors. This helps in eliminating steady state error and ensuring accurate tracking of set points. But beware, they can cause overshoot and instability if not tuned correctly. Moving on, we have derivative controllers or D controllers. These controllers are the fortune tellers of the group, predicting future changes by measuring the rate of change in error. This helps in damping oscillations and improving system stability, especially in rapidly changing systems. Finally, we have the jack of all trades, the PID controllers. These combine the powers of proportional, integral, and derivative controllers, providing optimal performance across a wide range of systems. From industrial automation to robotics, PID controllers are the robust and versatile choice. Whether it's controlling the temperature in a chemical reactor, stabilizing a drone mid-flight, or regulating the speed of a motor, controllers are the unsung heroes, ensuring smooth and efficient operation. So there you have it. A quick walkthrough of the different types of controllers and their roles in control systems. If you found this video informative and interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on the latest in technology and engineering. Until next time, continue to explore the captivating world of control systems and controllers. Thanks for tuning in.